Welcome you wonderful people to a new segment I'm starting on my channel called Epic Fails. These are epic fails within my own life and not just general epic fails or like people had or whatever. Just because I find it easier to look back and make fun of myself than it is to look at other people's past misfortunes. So, yeah. Today's epic fail takes place back in 7th grade. This is one of the years, in fact the last year, I lived in Atlanta, Georgia with my mom and one of my sisters. Anyway, at school one day, we are in PE outside, we were doing something, I think we were running laps, which just for a fat kid like me, that was just torture. And my friend Nixon was over there with me and my friend Tessa, and my friend Nixon said something, I don't remember what it was, he said, I said something about my friend Tessa, and she's like, what? I'm like, no, he's lying. And then whatever it was, she said, like, okay, the only way we're going to be even is if you let me kick you in the nuts. Which, let me pause and say, like, there's no way I could have said anything so horrible that the only way we're even is if she kicked me in the nuts. But then again, it was in middle school, and I was a pretty big douchebag, like an unbelievable douche back in middle school, so it's not completely improbable. So multiple times during that day, she tried to literally kick me in the nuts, and one time she ended up kicking me in the like upper part of my thigh, and I just gave like the best performance I've ever given. I mean, I should have won an Oscar for this performance. I fell into the ground, I was just like, oh god, you got me, you got me, you got me. I tried to force some tears, but only like a few drops came out, I and mean, then she's like, no, no. If I really kicked you in the nuts, you'd be in a lot more pain than that. Which made me think, you've kicked people in the nuts before, haven't you? You just seem a little too well known about kicking dudes in the nuts. That's all I'm saying. It's like, seriously, just let me kick you in the nuts one time and it's we're even. And I, multiple times throughout that day, she tried to, you know, after PE was done, you know. Me and her had like one or two classes after that together, but... She didn't try anything. Then I guess P.E. was like the only free zone she had to kick me in the nuts or something. The next day rolls around in P.E. We're inside the gym. I'm just chillaxing, leaning against the wall. My friend Nixon's over there. And then Tessa comes over and says, okay, I still got to kick you in the nuts. Remember, I didn't kick you in the nuts yesterday. I'm like, seriously? Which, like I said, I'm sitting and I got my legs crossed and my nuts are just like right there open. So like she has free range to kick me in the nuts, which she takes that opportunity to pull her leg back. Like she is going to kick me. And so I try to react, but because I'm a chubby kid, and as you can obviously see, I'm fat now, I was fat then too, I reacted slowly and tried to get up by like, leaning to the left like this, but at the same time I'm leaning, she's kicking, her foot, not going towards my nuts, end up hitting my face, makes my glasses fly off and slide onto the floor. I sit there like in shock, like did that just freaking happen? This, this side of my face is just sore, it hurts. My friend Nixon's right here in like front of me laughing his ass off because this is like the most hilarious thing ever. My friend Tessa's there just shot. She's like, oh my God, I didn't mean to kick you. You moved. I wasn't really going to kick you in the nuts, which is kind of a mind F all on its own. Like you weren't, you were just going to pretend to be kicking me in the nuts, even though you seriously kicked me in the leg the previous day, trying to kick me in the nuts. And I just sat there. I was like, no, no, it's good. I'm fine. One of my, like, I think it was Nixon or somebody went over, picked up my glasses, handed them to me. It's just like, ugh. I just consider that an epic fail. You know, you may consider that not one. I mean, I hope you got a chuck all of it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I look back on it. I don't look back at it and just like, oh, that bitch Tess or nothing like that. I look back on it and laugh. You know, it was like, it's funny to think about like, that seriously happened to me. It's just, it's fucking funny. Because to me, that seemed like something out of a freaking comedy movie or something. A little personal message to Nixon and Tess or wherever you are. Nixon, I love you, dude, but go fuck yourself. To Tessa, just know that no matter, even if you end up forgetting me, I will never forget you because you will always have a special place in my heart. Because you never quite forget that first girl to try to kick you in nuts but ends up kicking you in the face. You, you just don't. Well, that's it for this little epic fail of mine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my humiliation or just hearing about my humiliation, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your family and friends. Well... I don't know about your family. It really depends on the content in the video. And I guess the content of this video is fine. So yeah, go ahead and share it with your family too. Make sure you also subscribe to my channel because I got a handful of epic fail stories I can I still got left to share with you guys along with other stuff I want to talk about on this channel. Like always, till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye. Nice job, loser.